Hello from Small Squad Kids Dentistry Embraces here in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm Dr. Ruth Alvarez, I'm also known as Dr. A. I'm a pediatric dentist and today's video is going to focus on hydroxy appetite toothpaste. Um, I wanted to present some of the options that we found and also kind of learn a little bit more about it and also present what we learned to you guys so you guys can have better options in terms of which toothpaste you want to use with your kids. So what is hydroxyapatite? Um, it's a component that's found in bone and in tooth structure. In tooth structure, it's found in the outer part of the tooth, also known as enamel. Sometimes we lose minerals, hydroxyapatite being one of them. And this happens when we either intake uh, sugary substances, eat carbohydrates, our pH drops in our saliva, and that's when we start losing these minerals. And toothpaste has either, now we're talking about hydroxyapatite or fluoride in it, which helps remineralize the tooth structure and uh, prevent uh, decay, helps with sensitivity, and also, also some toothpaste claims to help in whitening as well. All right, so this toothpaste is called Made by Dentist, and it's made by Dr. Lisa and Dr. Vanessa Craven. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. The flavor is fresh mint flavor, and we got this at Target for $7.99. All right, so a little bit of information about the docs that made this toothpaste, Dr. Lisa and Dr. Vanessa, they're dentists, sisters and moms. Um, and we know most people hate coming to see us, I feel that, but the truth is great. Oral health care can really be achieved at home. So we created a collection of safe, clinically proven products for our patients, families, and friends. We hope you love them as much as we do. Welcome to the fam. Aw, that's really cool. So it contains sodium fluoride, potassium nitrate, hydroxyapatite. It's been designed to strengthen and protect enamel to reduce enamel erosion and loss. Wow, and they even sign it. That's really cool. We're gonna do the taste test for Made by Dentist. And I will now have a toothpaste instead of my finger to taste it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we have to take the little. It's very minty. It's good. It tastes like your tra traditional mint toothpaste. Good, I like it. Right, and this is Twice Oral Wellness Toothpaste. And I found out this is Lenny Kravitz's company. Um, so this flavor is charcoal icy mint and we got this at Walmart and the price was $6.47. Alright, so second unboxing of toothpaste. We have Twice Oral Wellness Toothpaste and again Lenny Kravitz's oral health brand here. Um, flavor is charcoal icy mint and this one is fluoride free. So it has vitamins A, C and E charcoal and baking soda to whiten teeth, hydroxy appetite to strengthen enamel and improves the wellness of your mouth. Um, charcoal, uh, we have to be a little bit careful about charcoal because it's considered highly abrasive to enamel. So sometimes we think charcoal is whitening, but studies have shown that it actually makes your teeth yellow and makes them more sensitive. So we have to be careful about using toothpaste with charcoal, um, not to use it every day. Um, but let's open it up. Let's see. Okay. And I believe this is a gel, right? I'm not... Anyways, I'll open it up and figure it out. Um, so it doesn't state the percentage of anything in here. So I don't know what percentage of hydroxyapatite this has but it can be used for adults and children, six years of age and older, and yeah, brushing twice a day. But let's open it up and see. Oh, okay. It's very charcoal-y. It's like this black gooey in it, like, sorry, it's probably gonna be gross to some of you. It tastes very refreshing. Um, but this is, I mean, really cool, but yeah, we don't know anything about the components of it. Let me go over the box one more time here. So yeah, hydroxyapatite has vitamins A, C, and E, charcoal to whiten, and baking soda, and it claims to keep a pH of 8.4, which is good in order so 
you don't have an acidic pH, and it's plant-based, clean coconut-derived foaming agent for lasting, fresh, and clean feeling. So good option for those parents who don't like fluoride or are worried about the fluoride. Um, but I, I think we need a little bit more studies to know if this is gonna be effective. And this is Boca, which translates in Spanish to mouth. Um, we got this at Ulta for $10, but it does have two toothpaste flavored element and cocoa ginger. And I think element is like their most popular one. And the next toothpaste um, we're gonna discuss is Boca translates to mouth in Spanish. And this is Nano Hydroxy Aptite Toothpaste. It has a two pack. It's um, Element and Cocoa Ginger. Um, let's see. So vegan, cruelty free. It has no fluoride, no SLS, no parabens, no artificial flavors, and no endocrine disrupt disruptors. Okay, all right. And it promotes whitening, healthy enamel, and oral health. And let me see. Let's open it up. And this one's really popular. Even one of our assistants wants to, to be like the taste tester as well. She's not here today, so. Okay, so we have the Element toothpaste and then we have the Cocoa Ginger. It also does not state the percentage of um, hydroxy appetite, so I'm not exactly sure if it's either five or 10% or it's less, but let's do a taste test and see. So we'll start out, I think Element is our most popular flavor. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, this is like almost like a little gel. So it's not like your tr traditional one. Okay, the mint is not too overpowering. It actually is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Almost like a mojito, huh? <laughs> okay, let's do some cocoa ginger. Okay. Oh, I have to take the tag off, oops. Got too excited there. Yeah, you taste the ginger in there. That's interesting. I mean, it's not, it's it's strong, but it's not like too overpowering. I can see how, how people would like this one. Okay, but um, just a summary. So their component is nanohydroxy appetite, which is usually the delivery system of toothpaste. It, they claim it to be fortifying, non-toxic. Um, it's a mineral that makes up the primary foundation of teeth and bones, which we discussed earlier in the video. Um, but I think these are some good options in terms of um, if you don't want to um, have a toothpaste with fluoride in it. Um, again, I think we need a little bit more studies to see if it's actually effective because some of the studies that I was reading, it doesn't really, it, there's a lot of conflicting evidence. Um, and then since we don't know exactly what the percentage is of hydroxyapatite in these three toothpaste, then we don't know if it actually is helping with sensitivity or remineralization. Um, but at least if it's making you brush twice a day, that is okay. Okay, so in summary, I think there are some great options for hydroxy appetite. Um, their traditional fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste, this is the one we give here at the office. It's the Kids Crest and it has 0.24% um, of sodium fluoride. And um, the one by the dentist um, is the one that actually had the same percentage of fluoride plus hydroxy appetite. Um, but none of the toothpaste let us know what the percentage of hydroxy appetite. And I don't know if there's many studies looking at its effectiveness yet. I think there's a lot of potential, um, but in terms of which one I would recommend, it's really hard right now. I think the one that was made by the dentist because it has fluoride and hydroxy appetite, it's a double combination of both. And um, if hydroxy appetite isn't as effective, at least you have the fluoride ion that's helping with remineral remineralization. Um, but if 
you don't want to do fluoride, we can start with the other, the other two options are good as well, but again, we don't know much about, about it because more research needs to be done.